Hello learners, welcome to our session for today. Our last video is all about the qualitative characteristics of images formed by mirrors. So for today, we will be discussing the qualitative characteristics of images formed by lenses. So let's start. Before we proceed to our discussion, we will be having a short review. All you have to do is to determine the characteristics of the images that will be formed in each picture. Okay, so the first picture, ayan. The object is uh, beyond C, beyond C. Okay, the object is beyond C. Then all you have to do is to determine the location, the orientation, size, and type of the image. So you have 10 seconds to write down your answer on our comment section. Okay. Write down your answers in our comment section. It will be checked by your teacher. Okay, so time's up. And so the image is formed between F and C. It is inverted. It is smaller and the type of image is real. Why? Because it is inverted. Inverted image is always a real image. Okay, second picture. What if the object is at F? Nasa ng image. Okay, 10 seconds to write down your answer. Okay, time's up. So, nasa ng image? Very good. There will be no image formed sa uh, lugar if the object is at F because it will form parallel lines. Okay. Last picture. Yeah. What if the object is in front of a convex mirror? The first two pictures, a uh, concave mirror. How about if the object is in front of a convex mirror? Okay. 10 seconds to write your answer. Time's up. Yeah. So our image is between F and V or at the back of the mirror. The orientation is upright, the size is smaller, and then the type of image is virtual. Again, it is because the orientation of the object is upright. So kapag upright, it is always virtual. Okay. Now, let's discuss the lenses, definition, and types. Lenses are an optical device which is made of transparent material which bends light. In our previous discussion, ayan, we had discussed the bending of light. Now, what property of light is the bending of light? Very good. So, it is refraction of light. Light. Nagbe-bend ang light. It is refraction of light. These pictures, or this picture shows us the types of lenses. And they have different shapes. Depending na rin, dun, yung shape nila ay yun rin yung mag uh, papakita ng kanilang pangalan. Yan, biconvex lens, meaning dalawang convex lens. Then, plano concave lens, uh, meaning one part or one side is plane or flat surface. And then, the other part is concave, meaning paloob. Okay, now this uh, characteristics, yung pagkakaiba-iba ng shapes nila, it will determine their application. Okay, now application of lenses and mirrors will be discussed on our next 
video. Okay, differences of mirror and lens. Now, meron tayong um, difference or pagkakaiba ng mirror and lens. Ang mirror natin has one focal point. Ang lens, dalawa. We have two focal points, meaning either side. Either side then of the lens, pwedeng mag-pass through ang light. When we say magpa-pass through ang light, dadaan. Sa mirror kasi, hindi siya nagpa-pass through, nagpa-bounce back siya. Nagre-reflect. Okay, tatama ang light ray, and then magre-reflect. Okay. Hang, yan, exhibits reflection ng mirror, and then exhibits refraction of light ang lens. So, again, refraction of light happens kapag ang light ray sa dumaan sa dalawang magkaibang medium. Okay, but again, it will pass through pa rin. Dadaan doon. Now, we have kinds of lenses. We have two kinds of lenses like kay mirror. Si concave lens at si convex lens. Now, ang concave lens, again, paloob siya. Okay, concave lens. It has a thicker edge. Ayan. And then, ang kanyang uh, middle part is manipis. Okay, diverging. Convex lens naman, it is thicker at the middle and converging siya. Ayan, look at the animation. See? Convex lens, converging kasi, ayan, the light rays nag... Um, intersect sila in a common point. So, that is the focal point or principal focus. Concave lens, nagda-diverge. Ayan, naghihiwa-hiwalay. Kapag tumama or kapag lumampas na siya sa lens. So, baliktad siya dito kay mirror. Ayan, tignan nyo si mirror. Ang concave mirror, ang converging mirror and then convex mirror, ang converging mirror kasi yun yung nagda-diverge. Pero dito, Ayan, ang concave lens ang nag-diverge, convex ang nag-converge. So, baligtad sila. Remember that. Okay, ang concave mirror ay converging mirror, pero ang concave lens ay diverging lens. Ang convex mirror ay diverging mirror, pero ang convex mirror ay converging lens. Baligtad. Remember that. Okay. Ayan. Si concave versus convex lens. Concave lens nag-diverge after tumama siya sa lens. The light rays tumama sa lens. Pero, as you can see here, ayan, may uh, rays na i-extend ulit natin dito sa kabilang side. In front. Kung saan tumama yung or kung saan ang galing yung ating light rays, may mag extend doon na line. From the refracted ray here. Ayan o, pag -anun. Dito, pag -anun. Para makita natin kung saan mag intersect yung uh, rays para malukit natin yung image. Okay, and then sa convex lens naman, ito yung source ng light rays, dadaan kay lens, ayun ang common intersection. Okay, kapag nandito sa part na to sa taas, ang kanyang bending ay malaki. Okay, pag nandito naman siya sa gitna, ayan, there is no bending here. Kasi 180 yan. Now, let's talk about the images formed by lenses. We had discussed na the types or the kinds of images or the kinds of um, lenses. Ayan. We, all, we had also discussed the kind of images before in our last video. Now, tignan natin kung anong images naman ang mabubuo natin sa lens. Okay? Before that, let's have here the parts of a ray diagram. Ayan. By the way, to locate the image or to describe the image formed either of lens or mirror, meron tayong two ways. Okay, pwedeng analytical or 
we have graphical. So, itong ginagawa natin or dinidiscuss natin is graphical. Pati yung last time. Ang analytical ay magkocompute. Okay? Yung equation. And then here, we have the graphical. Kasi puro rays. Okay? Mga representations tayo. Okay? So, again, we have here... Ayan. This is the focal point from V, uh, focal length rather, from V to focal point or principal focus. Okay, yung 2F, that is twice the focal length. So, from the focal point here, isa pa, nandun ang ating 2F or twice the focal point. Then, F is the focal point or principal focus. Ayan, and then this is the focal length, and then this is the vertex. So, ang vertex ay nandun sa center ng ating lens. Okay? This is our principal axis, and then this is our lens. Ayan. So, paano ba, ayan, paano ba natin malolocate ang image sa convex lens? Ayan. First, draw a line that travels parallel to the principal axis and is refracted through the focal point. Ayan po. Next, draw a line from the arrow through the midpoint of the lens or dadaan dun sa vertex. Ayan. Now, draw the arrow or the image of the arrowhead at the point where the two lines intersect. So, yun yung... Um, two rays din na ginama, ginawa or ginamit natin last time. Okay, so, that is PF. Ayan, PF. First, draw a line that travels parallel to the principal axis. Then, tatawid kay F or focal point, principal focus. And then, ito naman, imbes na sa center of curvature, okay, pupunta tayo dito kay F, a V, kay vertex. Ayan. Doon naman tatawid yung ating second ray. So, itong magiging itsura niya, ayan, sa different locations, in front of a convex lens. Okay? Ayan, between 2F and F, and then at F, no image pa rin, between F and V. Ayan. So, tingnan maigi. Kung napansin nyo, sa convex lens, ang image or most of the image ay at the back of the lens na produce. Okay? Isa lang ang na produce in front of the convex lens. So, that is if the object is between F and V. Ayan. Between F and V. Okay? Kanina? Nung ang ating uh, object ay nandito, smaller. Ayan, tingnan mabuti. At F no image pa rin. It is all, uh, almost the same lang doon sa ating concave mirror. Yung beyond C at C. Dito naman beyond 2F at 2F. Then between 2F and F. Ayan, at F and then beyond F and 2F. Ayan po. At F, or at, at 2F rather, uh, same size. Okay? So, yun yung katumbas ng at C. Ayan. Doon sa ating image, a uh, mirror. Ayan. At 2F, the image is the same. The size is the same. Inverted. Also, it is real. Okay? So, tingnan mabuti. Dahil kasama po yan sa inyong gagawin na learning activity. So, I will not be including here the table na ginawa natin before kasi yun ay activity ninyo. Ayan. Pero we are discussing na yung inyong activity na yun. So, please take note. Ayan po. Between 2F. Ayan. Tsaka F. Bigger ang size. Okay, and then beyond 2F siya dito sa uh, real focus dito sa kabila. Okay, 
How about if ayan, the object is in front of concave lens? Ayan. So, it is always smaller. The image is always smaller. Uh, disregard kung siya ay doon sa Bian 2F. Ayan. Kung mapapansin nyo, mas maliit pa rin siya sa object. Okay. So, ito yung counterpart nito sa mirror ay yung convex mirror. Okay. And then again, yung dito naman sa kabila, sa ating convex lens, ang counterpart naman niya ay yung ating concave mirror. Ayan. So, sinasabi ko na sa inyo para mas mabilis kayong makapagsagot sa inyong learning task. Ayan. Look. At 2F, same size. Between F and 2F, bigger ang size. Ayan po. At F, no image pa rin. Between F and V, magnified or virtual. So, ito si virtual side, ito si real side. Ayan. So, concave lens. Okay. So, almost, or parehas lang. Smaller, upright, and then virtual, and in front of the concave lens pa rin. Okay, so I hope these animations help you or will help you in answering your learning task. Okay, so thank you for listening. If you have questions, uh, you may email me or you ha may have your direct message sa akin. Okay, so once again, thank you for listening and God bless.